So does everybody see by me just randomly and very roughly sketching these points? I, I created a nice little shape of a graph. So now, if I connect these, just to kind of get a better idea of the shape, this looks like something very eerie similar to what we have already discussed in this class in Unit 2. It looks like the shape of a parabola. And when we talked about a parabola, that comes from a quadratic right, equation, or a quadratic function, or a quadratic polynomial. right? Well, when a quadratic, we know that the degree was equal to? 2. two. two. So was one of the questions they asked for what is the degree? Right? They asked for the degree. So you guys can say, hey, OK, I know the degree is 2. Now, I'm going to go back over turning points for you. All right? But if you're given your homework, and let's just think of what a turning point is. All right? Let's just think of turning of anything else. If you're driving a car and you're going to be turning, you're changing direction. Correct? If you're making a turn, you're changing direction. So in this graph, right? you guys can see this graph, is there a point where the graph is kind of changing direction? Yeah, and how many times is it changing direction? One. So I'm going to give you, again, the formal definition of a turning point. But you guys can see that from, from the left side, the graph is falling, right? But then at this vertex here, it turns to now <coughs> rising. So the turning point is equal to 1. Do you guys see how I just worked through that problem? It really wasn't any more difficult um, than what you guys see. You just had to, you just had to redo the problem, OK? But I mean, you just had to apply the app. You had to just apply the information to put it into.